Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be the first official Disney video, Disney related video. I'm so excited, as you can see, I've gone all out, I've got the ears on. Today I'm going to be showing you, like, basically what I'm going to be calling it is a pre-Disney World trip haul. I've, d I've seen a few people do this and I just feel like if I'm going, like, I would literally love to watch a video like, Okay, the fly is in here wanting to join in on this video. Love that for him. Um, if I was going, which, I mean, I am, but I would love to watch videos like this. I find them so useful to know, like, what to pack, essentials. I'm going to be going through clothing. So I'm going to show you my Disney-related clothing I've got. Um, normal clothing that's just essential. Shoes that are essential. Accessories. Um, travel essentials. Park bag essentials. Just everything that you need for a Disney World trip, in my opinion, obviously. I'm sure I'm going to miss a few things. If you can think of things that I haven't mentioned, definitely comment them down below. But yeah, grab a snack, grab a drink. This is probably going to be quite a long video because I have overbought. Just putting it out there now, I've definitely overbought for this trip. And like I always do. So yeah, it's going to take probably quite a while to go through it. But I'm going to try and go through it as quickly as I can. But yeah, definitely grab a drink and a snack. Just in case we're here for a while. But yeah, and if you do enjoy it, then please do leave a like and subscribe. Okay, so not that you can probably see this. But behind me, I have split my clothes into sections of non-Disney related clothing. Disney clothing that's like bottom halves. And Disney clothing that's top halves. And to be honest, a lot of it is non-Disney. Well... I say that, I've got a lot of Disney t-shirts. Oh no, that was a thing. I need to find one more t-shirt, be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got everything that I need. I feel like I'm probably still going to forget a few things and be annoyed at myself, but I think I've got everything that I wanted to show you. Right, so I'm going to start with official Disney World tops that I got last year, because if you don't know, I actually went last year. So obviously I did pick up a few t-shirts in the official Disney World store, and I'm so glad I picked up these. Like, oh, I love them so much. I'm definitely going to be bringing... Some of these, I've got to decide which, like, what out of all this stuff I'm bringing because it is, like, I don't need it all. Do you know what I mean? So, the first top, I got this in a medium. I kind of wish I'd got it in a large because then it would have been even more oversized. But it's this official Disney top. I'll, um, show you the pattern. Can you see that up close? It's honestly so nice. It's got, like, all the characters on and it says, where dreams come true. So cute. Like, I just loved buying t-shirts when I was in the park last year. I've never really done that other times i've gone but i just loved it right this one is so special like the top doesn't look like the front doesn't look like much and then the back is just so cute right you're not even ready for this so this is the front again it says walt disney world it's actually got like a lot of the rides on to be fair which is cute and then the back is dates of the rides when they first come out it's so cute it's got jungle cruise haunted mansion it's got all the rides on so i don't I think I want to bring both of them. This t-shirt I don't think I'll bring. I got this as well, obviously, from Disney World. It's just this one. It's kind of like retro vintage. I'm not sure I'll bring that one. And similarly with this one, I don't think I'll bring this one. But it's really cute. And then on the back, it's got mini, which is cute. But yeah, they're my official Disney World tops. I think I'll probably only bring a couple of them because they are quite thick. Like, they're good for England, but they're quite thick for Florida. I think I'll probably get too hot right let's carry on with tops i'll show you these really quickly most of them are from primark but a couple are from vintage i will tell you if i don't tell you if i do forget then just comment at you like if you want to know just comment and i will let you know so these first two tops i got from vintage i'm not sure where the lady got them from i feel like they're definitely made um but they're just so cute so <laughs> it's this is Ariel, but obviously she's got like all Disney merch on, um, which I thought was really cool. They're in like a kind of sportswear um, material, so I feel like that would actually be quite good. And then this one is Rapunzel in the same kind of theme. I really like these. I thought they were so cool. I probably will bring both of those with me. This one is from, I think it's from Primark. I've got it on Vinted though. Um, it's just pretty simple. To be honest, most of these are from Primark. This is a stitch one from Primark and um, what's this one this one I'm definitely bringing because I've already got shorts in mind that these go with it's just a Lion King top from Primark some of these I bought last year and some of them I bought this year this one I bought last year I actually wore it last year these are in Primark and they are like they come with matching shorts I got them all last year that's the Winnie the Pooh one this is a I probably won't bring this because I mainly wear that as a pyjama top now. I'm not going to lie. Um, this one I got new this year from Primark. It's pretty simple. So I probably will bring that one. This one, again, I kind of tend to wear it as a pyjama top now. So I feel like I can't really go back with that one now. But I'm just showing you my whole collection because I feel like it is really interesting if you've got a Disney World trip. This top, I love this Alice in Wonderland one. That's Primark and I'm definitely bringing that. Again, I have an outfit in mind. 
this one i think again i'm definitely going to bring this done by one i got this new this year love that just love the color of it this one is another one of those ones that's got a matching shorts to it i've actually got the matching shorts to this one that i can show you in a bit and then this one is very old primark that i got on vintage but it's um got a chip on it which is really cute so i think i might bring that but it is a little bit fitted and i prefer stuff loose in the park so i'm not sure we've still got to decide about that one but those are all my disney world tops right disney shorts won't take long because i literally have three pairs i feel like i probably do have more but i don't know where they've gone right this one these toweling shorts they go with one of the matching ones but i didn't show you that because i can't find it it's just like the mickey one basically but yeah these are really handy i actually wore these a lot last year and then these are the mini ones that go with that matching mini shorts um yeah they're the exact same toweling material is actually really good for florida because i feel like it's just quite good because you get quite sweaty it rains a lot oh, i got like i've got a massive spot there that's really showing up that's really annoying yeah these are so handy i just keep wearing these and wearing these all the time and then new this year i picked up these ones um they've just got mini on they do a matching top of this as well but i don't think i've got the top um they're just a medium they're really cheap like primark is the best place to go for if you want like disney merch because if it's stuff that you're probably not going to wear again then you don't want to be spending loads of money on it so i would definitely recommend primark now on to probably the biggest section of clothing which is non-disney related so this first top is it's not disney related but it's universal studios related i spoke about this in my recent primark haul but i finally got my hands on a jaws t-shirt i've wanted one of the classic jaws t-shirts i can't speak jaws t-shirts for so long like i honestly I can't even tell you how much i love this i just love it guys so yeah i'm so happy i got that then these shorts are from primark these are super easy and perfect for florida because they are so thin they're just their classic kind of tight shorts they're so thin so they dry really quickly you're not going to get hot on them because of how thin they are and yeah they're just really stretchy and comfy so i've got them in pink as well i just feel like i'm too honest i do have them in a couple of other colors as well which i might even take um but they're just gonna be so handy another new thing i bought this year and again i would have spoke about this in a sheen haul a few months ago is this skort so it's actually like an exercise skort um it's by the range glow mode in sheen which is like a really good quality it's a dupe of um oh my god i forgot this last time i think it's lululemon it's a dupe of it's such good quality so yeah it looks like a skirt but it's actually shorts and this looks so flattering and to be honest that will go with most of my disney t-shirts so i'll probably just keep re-wearing that um yeah that is literally so handy and then i am gonna bring a pair of denim shorts not not many just probably one or two because these ones are quite thin so they will dry quite quickly and i know that they're really really comfy i wouldn't usually recommend wearing short denim shorts in disney but if you do have a pair that you've really worn in and they're super comfy then i would just say go for it because like the black shorts they'll go with so many different outfits okay i'm gonna carry on with the shorts theme well it's kind of a score these are also from sheen and again they look like skirts that are actually shorts and they are so comfy i have one of these i wore in paris and it was the comfiest thing i've ever worn so i've got this in green um but they are the colors i've got i realize are actually slightly different so i want more of this one so i'm going to go and buy some more colors of that because i want them to go with different outfits so this one is going to be an animal kingdom vibe um just because that's what it is these are the ones that i bought to go with my lion king top but it's actually quite tight here like i need to try it on but even though it's stretchy i don't really like things that are tight so yeah i might not bring those ones and try and find a different one um i also got them in this black floral print but again not so sure if those ones are going to be as comfy but we will see i also got these but again i need to try them on because yeah i'm not sure if they'll fit but they're these shorts they look like men's swimming trunks which i kind of like and i think they'd be really good in florida because like i said they dry so quickly when you get them wet so they are also from to be fair all of those shorts are from sheen sheen is another good place to go for because it's really cheap and yeah the quality i mean you get the quality of the price so you can't really complain too much but these these shorts in particular are so good i also do like to bring a couple of pairs of jogger shorts but not too many because you can get really hot in these but i've just got a lilac pair to go with that alice in wonderland top these were just from h&m they are quite comfy but yeah you do get quite hot on them so just beware i would recommend wearing more just like thin and floaty stuff because yeah it's just better for the heat like in september I'm, go I'm going in september but to be honest anytime you go it's just so hot out there so you just want to work, be wearing as little clothing as possible basically <laughs> right i'm not going to go through and show you like every single top i'm going to bring but i will show you a couple of like basic ones that i've bought recently and um, that i just think are so versatile these are all from hollister actually so this one is just it looks like a corset 
corset but it's actually like a fabric-y material and they've got like the adjustable straps i thought that'd be so good i got these from an outlet store in hollister so they were actually really really cheap so i also got it in the like sagey mint green i just thought they would be really easy just with denim shorts or something and then i also got this from hollister which i'm not sure if i'll get too hot or not because obviously it is knitted but it's basically this like halter neck knitted crop top which i think will look so cute for an outfit in florida but i'm thinking maybe even as to just go over the top of my bikini at the water parks would be quite good for that one and then speaking of water parks i would definitely recommend bringing a swimming costume just because it is obviously very family friendly and i personally where has the sun gone like where's it actually gone right okay um yeah i would recommend bringing a swimming costume just because it makes you feel a little bit better i feel like than a bikini i mean i probably will bring a bikini as well but i've just got to make sure it's like a really family friendly one because a lot of my bikinis are thongs and i never realize until i buy them how many thong bikinis i have but i've just got this swimming costume it does have a bit of a cut out which is quite nice um but yeah i've still got to try this one on this is from misguided i got this so cheap from misguided but I did get it in a size 12, so I don't know if I would have needed a 14 or not, but we'll have to try that on. But yeah, these those are all the like clothing that I recommend getting. Obviously, you can do whatever you want, but I would definitely recommend lighter clothing, um, stuff that you know will dry quite quickly when you get wet, because obviously it depends when you're going to Florida, like what time of the year. When I go, it's always raining, about around three o'clock. It rains for about an hour every day, pretty much, um, which is fine because you just get out of the like get out of the rain for an hour um but yeah you don't want to be wearing stuff that's going to take ages and ages to dry and obviously comfort is the main thing you need to be comfortable because they are long days and yeah comfort is key okay i'm pretty sure i have spoken about this before in a video but one thing i would definitely recommend getting as soon as you've got a trip booked is a planner obviously you don't need to get one of these you could just use an, use a normal notebook but whatever you decide to use i would definitely recommend writing down all your plans because it is a very it's a trip that needs to be planned and especially since covid like they you have to like book reservations for each park and you have to wake up at 7 a.m to book like into for rides and stuff so it's always better to know exactly what you're doing when you're doing it so this book has like important info for like your travel it has budget pages it has a trip overview pages where i've just written what days we're going to what park because like i said you have to book that before and if you don't book that like if you leave it to the last minute you just won't get into any parks if you're going in a busy time it's got packing lists it's got bucket lists like it's got so many good things so yeah definitely invest in either a disney world planner or just a notepad and write down all your plans do your research watch youtube videos that's the most fun way to like learn about it um but yeah definitely plan your trip okay now i'm going to show you all the kind of like travel essentials that i've just put together in a B&M bag at the moment to be honest I'm just gonna pull it out and I don't, can't even remember what I've bought I've been buying so many different stuff and just putting it all together I've got things coming in the post that I don't even know about yet like I've just listen I just need to spend a day and just like look for everything I've bought and actually like when I well I'll do this when I pack it so you'll see that in the pack with me but I'm just gonna pick out random things so one thing i would recommend and i'm only recent on these like i know these have been around for years and i've only recently used them but packing cubes i used these when i went to paris and it was actually so good like it was not even just for saving space but it was just so nice to be able to like put it in different sections so like i had all my day clothes all my evening clothes and then you once you unpack you just know where it is you don't even really need to unpack if you don't want to but yeah they are super useful these ones are from home bargains you can literally get them anywhere these days like they're just everywhere and then i'm gonna go through this bag actually and just show you everything that we've got so another thing that we're bringing this year that we didn't think about last year is a massive canvasy tote bag like this is literally massive and the reason being is we basically our hotel is about a five minute walk from walmart which obviously is not far at all and we're walking there most days but we were buying their like rubbish plastic bags and then trying to carry like bottles of drink and like loads of heavy stuff and it was just it was breaking it was heavy so time we just brought a massive canvas tote bag because we thought we can put bottles of drink in here we can put everything in here and then it's just so much easier to carry it to and from our hotel room also when we go to like 7-eleven and just yeah any place any time we're going to be doing a lot of shopping basically i thought that would be really really handy so this was just from primark i think it was like five pounds yeah definitely going to come in handy pretty obvious and again not really specific to disney holiday but i just always bring a cap with me this is just from primark i feel like it's just quite useful these things are an essential for animal kingdom in particular 
mosquito and insect repellent so these are bands this is what we used last year i don't know why but animal kingdom you just get bitten so much so it's always really handy to have stuff like this so we've got the bands and then i've also got the roll on which i thought we could do in the room in the morning and then just wear these throughout the day so yeah they are really handy i got these from home bargains i think they were like a couple of pound each they really weren't expensive obviously things that are just obvious are plasters you will get blisters like you there's no going about it i've actually bought this time around and again i don't know if these are going to work i talked about this in my recent primark haul but in primark they had these socks that say blister resist i don't know if they're going to work or not i will have to let you know but if they do that would be great but i'm still going to be bringing plasters just in case um obviously travel adapters <laughs> dad's watching the football um right okay let's just ignore that um cut that yeah we bring travel adapters and then i actually bring a um what's it called extender what's it called? i can't think what it's called but you know the thing that's got like an extender and you can plug all your plugs into it that's much easier than buying a load of these so yeah that's what we'll be doing um things like this like sort of travel bottles obviously we do have a big suitcase but i think i'm still going to decant everything just because i don't want to waste space in my suitcase or weight and a lot of things we're just going to buy when we go out there like toothpaste shower gel things like that we're just going to buy in walmart like there's no need to it's only really like my femme fresh um shampoo and conditioner stuff like that that you have like a specific one that i would recommend bringing your own otherwise you can just literally get anything out there and it's not like it's that expensive to go and buy things out there um so yeah in terms of makeup this is kind of what i'm still playing around with and i'm definitely gonna be filming a separate video testing these and basically showing you my makeup routine for the parks but i've actually bought some new products this year because last year i just didn't put makeup on at all and Although it was a lot easier in the during the day, but I did regret it afterwards because I just had no nice photos because I just didn't want to take photos of myself. The vlogs that I did, I just hate looking back at them because I just look horrible. So I definitely do want to wear makeup this time. It's just I want to find some makeup that doesn't feel heavy on my skin. So these are the products I've got so far and I'm still doing a bit of research myself into finding like good products that people recommend for disney and yeah like i said i'll be filming a video next week on that to if in case you're interested but i've got this by l'oreal which is just some uv it's just some spf that i'll put on first i then bought this by maybelline it's a skin tint so i thought this will probably be actually a lot better than foundation because it's not going to be as thick it's just literally like a skin tint um but it still says 24 hours stay and yeah i just thought that would be really good so but i have like i said i'm yet to test this so you will see my first impressions when i do that video and let you know what i think waterproof mascara an essential because the rain the water rides like that's just an obvious one for any kind of holiday so i got that and then i wanted to get a setting spray that is meant to be really really good like strong hold and stuff so i got this one by revolution that says all day filter so yeah i'm just hoping although it says it's a fixing spray no does anyone know what the difference between a fixing spray and a setting spray is because i have no clue like are they actually different because if they are i'm gonna have to get a different one um but yeah i'm gonna test this one out before i go and see how well it actually keeps the makeup on but so far for makeup that's all i've got I'm, i really don't want to have much makeup on i'll probably put a bit of blush on and obviously i'll do my eyebrows and that's probably about it i really i don't want to have like a massive routine just something that makes me feel a little bit more confident but also that i'm not sweating off leading on to park bags so me and dan both have these uniqlo bags i mean mine's an official uniqlo one dan's is just a sheen dupe of it um but to be honest they're exactly the same so i haven't packed my park bag yet because i'm still using it as my normal handbag um but i'll just go through a couple of the bits that are in dan's at the moment when I mean, we're probably going to spread this out evenly between us um and there will definitely still be more to go in we've bought a little water bottle it's literally like it would fit in here and it's one of them like insulated ones so it will keep it cold that is one thing i definitely recommend bringing a water bottle if it fits in your bag because you can get free tap water free ice water anywhere in the parks like obviously there's fountains and then you can go into a shop and a restaurant and say can i please have some water and they would give you a cup of ice water and you can just you can either obviously drink it now or just pour it into your um bottle which we were doing and it's just so much easier you need to be making sure you're drinking plenty of water throughout and yeah 
just don't like i think a lot of people don't realize that it's literally free to go and get ice water from the restaurant so we always do that have a little water bottle and then usually our lunch will like buy like a coke or a fanta because if you're just gonna be constantly buying bottles of fanta then it's just gonna be so expensive we also last year in walmart we bought like miniature bottles of coke and fanta and then we would bring that with us we'd pour it into our insulated bottle and then bring it with us and it would literally stay cold all day that's another little good tip to save some money um but currently in dan's one is just these two on the go sun cream so obviously i'm gonna get a big bottle of sun cream to have and top up in the morning like as soon as we get up we'll put sun cream on everywhere and then throughout the day this will just be our top up one because it's easy it's like a spray and it will fit in our bag so it's just the boots sultan clear and cool protect sun care mist i just thought it'd be easier because it's a mist we can just spray it um it's 50 and it's five uva stars so that'll be good and then i also bought this one just for me which is just the over the over makeup one again it's 50 you've probably seen this everywhere i've never actually tried it before it's really expensive which is why i don't usually get it but i thought you know what if i'm gonna be wearing makeup i don't want to get burnt so yeah pal bank absolute essential you need a power bank you're going to be on your phone all day even if it's not taking photos and videos it's going to be checking the app looking at RyQ times using mobile ordering to get food like you would just be using your phone so much more than you think so a battery power bank is an essential i've bought this this year which i thought was a really good idea it's just one of like these fold up hair brushes i just thought that was perfect and especially when you go to a water park because obviously we did we made this mistake last year we'd go to a water park and then we'd go straight to another park and my hair would be horrible and i would never think to bring a hairbrush so that's what i've got this year um this oh this is just my bits for my gopro um my gopro's not actually in there at the moment but yeah that will go in one of our bags and then i've got a spare memory card obviously that's not an essential it's only because i vlog um and then i've still got what have i got to have in mind obviously my camera phone wallet um what else needs to go in there i think that's possibly it to be fair um i'm sure i'm forgetting something but yeah these bags are gonna be so so good last year i had one of these bags but then dan had a backpack and it was just really awkward because we had to keep paying for lockers to put like a universal especially we had to keep paying for lockers to put it in and yeah it was just awkward to carry on rides whereas these are just gonna be by our side all the time it'll be so much easier so for part bags i would definitely recommend the uniqlo ones or if you don't want to spend i think they're 15 pound the uniqlo ones i got mine for my birthday but if you don't want to spend 15 pounds then the tiktok ones or um ones are literally the exact same okay the other thing i forgot to mention because ours hasn't actually arrived yet but is a pocket fan you need a fan like you want one that folds up really easily but honestly it's an absolute lifesaver you can obviously in disney world you can buy those massive like fans that have got the water in and they spray water as well um they're an absolute rip off you can get them from target for so much cheaper or probably even get them here um but we just use the normal pocket fans it's so much nicer when you're in a queue and you're in a queue for a while and you can just like find yourself it's so much nicer so that's still arriving at ours another thing we've actually bought from amazon that's coming i think today or tomorrow um is like a big clip i don't really know how to describe it other than it's like a big clip kind of like what you sometimes have key rings on um and this is because in universal studios you get a refillable well you don't get it you pay you can pay for a refillable mug same as you can at like uk theme parks and you just have to um every day you go there you reactivate it and also if you've been away so like we bought ours last year we're going to bring them back this year and you just pay a price to reactivate it and then you get it for the day and like all the refillable machines and because we only have these bags it's obviously not going to fit in there so what i've done is i've bought a clip from amazon that i thought we could clip to this clip here and then also clip to the handle of the cup so they can just hang off that when it's empty for when we go on rides we don't have to like hold it um so yeah that was a really good thought of mine i don't know how i thought about that i was just clearly quite smart when it comes to that um but little things like that honestly there's so many little things to think about that could just you I mean that you don't like you don't, you don't need but they can just make the whole day so much nicer right i think that just leads me to footwear i, I feel like i have missed stuff but definitely if i have then comment anything down below that's absolutely fine but for in terms of foot footwear that's so weird in terms of shoes i do bring a pair of trainers i've got a memory foam pair of trainers that i wear on travel day so to the airport because obviously even that day is a lot of walking and then i to kind of like look at the weather when we're out there and decide what day to wear my trainers on like for me universal studios is always a good day to wear trainers because a lot of those rides obviously if you're going to go on big roller coasters your legs are like hanging 
out and you can't wear like flip flops and stuff like that because they just they come off like a lot of the time they actually tell you to take them off and i remember last year um i had like just sliders on for that day and we went on one of the harry potter rides and they were like you need to take them off and i was like right i didn't know what to do with them so i had to tuck them behind my back and then like l make sure i was leaning on them and the whole ride i was just scared because then the thing kept moving about and i was like my shoes are just gonna fall out and, and i was so scared i didn't even enjoy the ride because i was just petrified my shoes were falling out the whole time so i definitely don't want to be wearing si sliders on that day so i'm gonna either wear my trainers or one of these pairs which i'm just about to show you so the first pair i got are these and now these, they aren't gonna look the most glamorous like it's really not a glamorous holiday it's more about comfort so yeah you're probably thinking what are they like they're not glamorous at all but i thought these would be really good because they obviously have like backs to them so they wouldn't fall off um and they're just velcro they're obviously like plasticky jelly i don't know how, what kind of material that is um so they're gonna dry really quickly doesn't matter if they get wet and do you know what these were like five pounds I got them this year, I can't remember where I got them from, um, but they were like five pounds and I've been wearing them in the last few days and they're actually so comfy. The only thing is, is that bit is gonna give me a blister, but I'm kind of trying to like wear them in now and then I'll probably just put plasters on that part of my um, foot. So yeah, these are gonna be so useful. It's just a bit annoying that they're pink because they're obviously not gonna go with every single outfit. But then I also bought these from Sheen and again, they're not the most, they're not the best quality. So I'm kind of have to see what it's like when we're actually out there, but I'm obviously gonna have flip flops as well. Um, but I just, oh, dropping them. I just bought some knockoff Crocs because again, people say Crocs is like a really comfortable shoe to wear out in Florida, which I've never really thought about doing. But I kind of see why to be fair, because you can just slip them on or you can obviously have that bit if you want a bit of support on the rides. Um, and again, they're the same materials. So they'll dry really quickly. And yeah, they are quite comfy to be fair. I need to wear these in a bit around the house as well before we go. That is another tip. Definitely wear your shoes in. Do not bring shoes that you've not worn before to Disney because it's just not gonna end well. Um, but yeah, they are the shoes I'm bringing. Like I said, I will bring flip-flops as well and maybe one pair of like nicer sandals for like the evening if we go out for dinner or like Disney Springs and stuff like that. I think that is everything I wanted to talk about. Obviously, I will be bringing ears, but I have done a separate video showing you all my ears. Um, that sounds really weird, showing you my ear collection. Um, so definitely go and watch that if that's something you'd be interested in. And then in my pack with me, you will see me choose which ears I'm going to bring because I cannot bring them all. Um, I think I probably will have to bring this pair though because it's just classic, isn't it? But I think that's everything I want to speak to you about. I feel like I've gone through travel essentials, park essentials, clothing, shoes. Yeah. I think that is pretty much everything to be fair but definitely let me know if i have missed anything and i really hope you did enjoy this video if you did then please leave a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss the florida content i'm gonna be doing disney vlogs universal vlogs target walmart 7-eleven literally just like so much content coming in the next few weeks so definitely subscribe if that's something you don't want to miss and yeah thank you so much for watching hopefully i will see you in my next video bye guys